Hi, Sandy McTeer here with DecoArt. Excited to share with you guys how quick and easy it is to create this geode acrylic pour using the DecoArt Fluid Art Ready to Pour Acrylics. Let's get started. Here are some supplies for the geode acrylic pour that you're gonna to wanna to pick up while you're at Michael's. The Artist Loft Paint Pouring Canvas. These canvases are perfect for all of your acrylic paint pouring projects. I have some plastic little cups that will help me prop up my canvas on a disposable tin tray just to catch the paint that overflows. A pencil just to help us map out the lines for our geode pour. Stir sticks. The Craft Smart Multi-Purpose Vinyl Gloves. I also picked up some Ashland Decorative Filler. This is almost like crystal clear glass and then also in blue. Craft Smart Clear Casting Resin. And of course, the DecoArt Fluid Art Ready to Pour Acrylics. These are my favorite go-to paints for all of my acrylic pours. I'm using Deep Turquoise, Gold Metallic, Tropical Blue, True Blue, White, and Jet Black. Notice the Jet Black is in a four ounce bottle. Also available at Michaels, they have the DecoArt Fluid Art Ready to Pour Acrylics in a four pack, four ounce bottle size. DecoArt has paired colors that go beautifully together for acrylic pours. So with the pencil, I'm just going to map out kind of basic shape of the lines where I want my paint to go for my geode. Very faint, nothing really exact. Let's start with white. In this corner, I'm gonna put some of that um, crystal glass. So we'll just take that white, and I'm just gonna use one of the stir sticks, kind of spread it around. And we'll put a little bit of gold on the other side. And we have that gold, we'll put it right along that line. So notice the difference in the size. I was squeezing the bottle just a little bit for this thinner line and squeezing it a little bit more for that wider line. Let's add some more white between these sections. And then let's just tilt that up and move it slightly to have those colors flow and move and spread out. But again, keeping that shape you can also use the stir stick to help smooth that out just a little. Just like that. Put a little bit more gold right in here. And I also want some Now with the true blue, I'm gonna come right on the other side of this gold. We'll pick up some deep turquoise. Back to the true blue. some of that true blue right here in this corner. I'm gonna put some of those blue glass pieces right in this corner. So we'll spread that out with the stir stick. Now my favorite color, the tropical blue. And then let's put some white. And again, for more to come out, squeeze the bottle just a little bit harder. And then let's put some gold. So you can always come back with the stir stick if anything gets a little misshaped. Oh, 
And that white looks so pretty in there. Same thing, I'll take the stir stick down here. And just let these colors blend just a little bit more. Wiping off with a baby wipe or a paper towel each time. And then let's drop a little bit of white, nice and thin. And then with the edge of the stir stick, I'm just going to help that along. stick and soften that into the other paint. Let's add some of our little stones. So I'm going to add the clear ones down here in this section. Sprinkle those on and press it into the paint. You can also take these stones and add paint to it. Stir that up. And change the color of them. And then I'm gonna take that and lay it right in this little section right here. I'm just going to go around that and fill in that white just a little and then let's accentuate it with some gold. So I would like to make this area just a little bit on the darker side so I'm going to add a little bit of black. Just drizzle that on and then some deep turquoise. And then taking a stir stick, I just want to pull that black, just make it a little bit darker. This is going to help those blue stones shine even more. Now let's lay these blue stones right in place. I also want some of these blue stones down here. Let's add a little bit of gold in this section, this thin little line. We're going to set this aside to completely dry, and then we will cover it with the clear casting resin to bring up those colors and secure those stones. So in mixing our resin, it's a two-part mix. You do want to work in a nice ventilated area. So I have a larger plastic cup and a stir stick. Now when we stir this, we wanna make sure that we scrape the sides and gently stir it. We don't wanna to create too many bubbles. So the first part, part A, is the casting resin. We're gonna fill this up about a third of the way. And then we wanna add equal parts. Part B is the casting hardener. Now you have about 15 minutes to work with this. And then you want to stir for a good five minutes. You don't want any cloudiness or striation of color at all. You want it to be crystal clear. And again, nothing too aggressive, just scraping the side. I can go clockwise and then slowly change my direction to counterclockwise. Okay, so that's all mixed. Again, minimum of five minutes. 
We do have a few bubbles in there, so let me give you this tip. You wanna make sure you get the bubbles out of the resin. You can use a straw to blow those out. You can also use a heat tool or even a creme brulee torch. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start here right in the middle. I'm gonna start laying that resin in place. And then we wanna spread it out. All right, so poured resin over the entire thing. I took a straw and just kind of blew out any bubbles that I saw that were very visible. That will just make divots in the resin, so you wanna try and get rid of the bubbles. We're gonna set this aside, let it completely dry for 12 hours. After 12 hours, it's cured, but 72 hours is curing to a hard finish. So we're gonna be patient, set this aside, and let it dry. And there we have our finished geode acrylic pour.